Year without answers. People have been smelling gas in their neighborhood, in their homes and businesses, and now one state representative is demanding answers from the gas station responsible, Inner City Oil. This is all happening right now. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post is live at 31st in Cleveland. Belinda? Yes, yeah, Cynthia, we actually spoke to the owner. Um, Zeal is the owner of Inner City Oil, and uh, they say that these complaints really go back about 35 years. They say that if they'd done anything too bad, that the Department of Natural Resources would have shut them down. However, all of these people in East Palestine still say that there's a problem. They said that fumes were found about nine years ago, and that was confirmed by a state study. But they say that really their needs have not been met. Can you kind of shed light on that? Uh, yes, most of the constituents in this area, they're not getting any recourse through government. Uh, as their elected official, I've reached out to the AG's office, the Attorney General's office, and I've reached out to the Department of Natural Resources to actually come down here, convene a town hall meeting to actually talk to people about the contaminations. Uh, both departments have refused to come down here and talk to people. Uh, so it's no remedy, it's no information going out. Uh, it's a lot of gas that people are spilling, a lot of cancer clusters that are happening in this area, and the people that live here weren't getting any uh, respect from their government as far as giving them information about what's happening, making them aware about the contamination and the harmful effects to their health, and simply coming and talking to them. That's the simplest thing they can do, and they're refusing to do that. And the state, of course, does have a lawsuit against it. You guys are just saying not enough has been done. Well, it's an active lawsuit that the state has, but if you survey the people over here, nobody over here is involved in the state's lawsuit, and these are people that live in this area. So I'm not exactly sure who the state is, has a lawsuit for and who they're representing. But I know the people in this area aren't getting any information from the state. The majority of these people weren't involved in the lawsuit. Uh, the emails that I sent to DNR and the follow ups that they're supposed to have done, they have not done that with anybody that I sent over there. They haven't even called them back. So I'm not sure who they're representing, but I know they're not representing these people right here. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Ellington. Um, we will bring you updates throughout the day. We've got reporters here listening to all sides of the story, and we will bring you that at 4, 5, and 6. Reporting live in Kansas City, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.